So something that just came to me about envy and resentment. Um, we do ourselves a disservice when we envy others um, for the things that they can do or the o obstacles that they don't face that we might face. What I'm realizing is like we do ourselves a disservice when we do that because we're not accepting the full weight and the accountability for the challenges that we might face as the people we are, right? So if at the end of the day, the work of healing is to accept who we are fully with all the challenges that come with that and showing up authentically in this world in a way that's healthy for us and allows us to sustain ourselves and be ourselves and be true to ourselves, then we also have to embrace the, the fullness and the reality of the challenges that we face in this lifetime. And so what I'm realizing for myself at least is that at the end of the day, um, we can't knock our hustle. We can't knock our life. We can't knock the, the weight and the burden of, of what this world has made our existence to be because if nobody else is gonna hold our challenges and love our challenges, like if we not gonna do it, like how can we ask other people to show up for us, right? So we have to show up for ourselves even when it's hard, even when it's hurt, even when bitterness is threatening to overcome us and overtake us, we gotta show up for us, right? Um, and so yeah, it's not to say that envy and resentment don't have their places. I wouldn't be able to say this if I didn't know the feelings intimately. And I've been able to see and overcome and move through them because I understand, right? My challenge is my challenge. And in a lot of ways, somehow this challenge is gonna be a blessing. All right, so peace.